Warning, this podcast contains bad English, bad jokes and incomprehensible references to Italian culture. Welcome everyone to the Total Incompetent Music Podcast Christmas Special. Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas also to your in laws uh, Merry <laughs> Christmas also to the neighbor to you and uh, family yeah to the cousin. everyone to the cousin. everyone uh, also to the neighbor that uh, <laughs> uh, in front of your door every morning also to him Merry Christmas that's everyone. a very Christmassy thing to do actually you, you don't look uh, in the face to anyone you just Merry Christmas <laughs> and go on with that yeah. it's Christmas Guys, it's the power on. of Christmas. We love each other independently. How are you guys? Do you feel uh, very Christmassy? Ish. Awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, I put. Uh, I am wearing Christmas pants, uh, uh, Christmas uh, socks, uh, Christmas. Uh, I have also a set of uh, uh, Christmas uh, dildos in, in case of emergency. <laughs> Those are the most important Christmas thing you should have. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the, for the, why do you use that for, um, for mass, uh, how, how it's called that? <laughs> well, of course, we put it on top of the, of the Christmas tree. What else <laughs> wow. do you want to use them for? <laughs> and you make the whole tree vibrate uh, everywhere in the house. Nice. Yeah, that, that's again, magic of Christmas. <laughs> so that you can perform, uh, you know, masturbation. <laughs> that's the. And no, we that's actual masturbation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we cut almost everything. Uh, uh, up to now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Great. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. So, what are we going to do today for this uh, super special Christmas special for uh, the special podcast? Um, I frankly don't know. I mean, <laughs> nice. uh, you just called and I answered. I don't know what we're doing. So please As explain. <laughs> so, guys, uh, 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 hypothetically, uh, we should have chosen uh, one Christmas song each, but let's say a particular a Christmas song, you will get uh, what we mean uh, when we talk, actually, about our songs. And we will talk about these songs, basically. So one song each. We changed a bit our formula, just for Christmas, because it's uh, the Christmas spirit, of course. And uh, that's it, basically, right, guys? Yes. <laughs> Good. It's good to know we are on the same page. <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> okay. Uh, so since I started, um, I will decide who's going to start the the song review, and I think it will be the Christmas Emperor. Is Yoo-hoo! it? <laughs> oh, sorry, that's me. That's me. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you are the emperor, the, the, the Grinch emperor, you mean. Grinch, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So even at Christmas, I still. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just a question for you, Anto, before you start. Uh, what does do the emperor over Christmas usually? Empires. Rules with the Z. And a lot of uh, bells and uh, bowls and uh, Christmas trees. Okay, okay. 
Is that enough? <laughs> sounds reasonable. Uh, it sounds uh, uh, kind of makes reasonable. Sense, right? Empire management. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah, imperial yeah, routine yeah. for Christmas. The imperial <laughs> routine, exactly. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, so let's go on. And the song I chose for you today is the lovely. Uh, Valalleluia by Nano War of Steel. Uh, this is a, a heartwarming song <laughs> from this uh, band from Rome. Uh, they are um, some nice, funny guys. And they did this song for Christmas, uh, I think, for a couple of years ago. Because you can see that nothing says Christmas more than, you know, um, Odino and Valhalla and Chopping Heads and Ikea. So, yeah, that's it. it the, and this uh, nice song, this nice pastiche, of the song. <laughs> so competent. I, I don't know what I'm saying. This is, uh, <laughs> they just gave me a piece of toilet paper with uh, some words on it. With, with some random words, I assume. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> what did they use for, as, an, as ink on, on the toilet paper? Do you really want to know? <laughs> It's obviously a pen. What would you use on toilet paper? Pen. Or a crayon at most, of course. Yeah, maybe, maybe a pencil. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you want to overdo that, yes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, going back to the song, I think we can call it uh, gospel metal. Something that we all love, of course. And yes, I think it really mm, encapsulates the meaning of Christmas. So avoid chopping heads and uh, pillage uh, towns to build furniture uh, like Odin does nowadays. He left the good old warring times and now... He uses the hammer of Thor to build the IKEA furniture. And uh, yeah, I think this is really a heartwarming message <laughs> for us all. Genius. But uh, I don't know, what, what do you say, Itzi? Do you agree with me? Uh, I, l I listen to the song with all my Christmas art that I'm carrying at the moment. Uh, and uh, I have to say that uh, even though I feel that uh, Christmas goes beyond uh, uh, IKEA furniture, uh, I have to say that uh, I found the song that is a pure genius. I really love the song. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece. They blend so many genres together, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know where to start uh, <laughs> with this song because it's uh, full of uh, cool references, and uh, yeah, probably Na Nano World Steel is uh, one of his uh, best uh, metal bands that are able to blend all these genres all together. Yeah, what about you, lovely, lovely Christmas Eve, Francis? Oh. <laughs> Actually, uh, I have to say uh, that I had a very naive point of view because um, I admit my sins because, you know, guys, it's Christmas, so you can forgive me. I never, uh, <laughs> I never listened to Valhalleluja before the, the latest days and I honestly, honestly what? regret it. <laughs> Because oh, at least I listened to uh, some parts of it, uh, but never with the, uh, the lyrics uh, on my eyes. Guys, it's, it's completely crazy. <laughs> it's pure genius. 
Yeah, I, I particularly love the how the song passes from the Christmas carol to the super metal song, uh, just with the word Odin, just subverting all your expectations. And uh, what really surprised me is the, the quality, the quality of the whole thing, the editing, all the references, the uh, Easter eggs uh, in the lyrics, it's just pure genius pure genius they just bring you to believe they're going to sing about uh, you know jesus uh, and uh, all the the christmasy things uh, and then just start with a sort of ode to odin <laughs> top three uh, easter eggs i liked <laughs> first of all the chanting of shma uh, igdrasil <laughs> which is from shma is israel sorry and uh, which is one of the traditional Hebrew uh, chantings, uh, even though it's not for Christmas because it's in Hebrew. But uh, anyway, well, it, it, it can be for Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. The the transformation of uh, the Our Father prayer in Our Father Odin, <laughs> <laughs> and at the end the. Falegnamen, which is uh, understandable <laughs> only by the Italian <laughs> audience, but it's just pure genius, definitely. Absolutely. Masterpiece. Absolutely. But uh, should we talk about the uh, really... Uh, so when uh, Odin comes and speaks to the people, the five macamber if i remember correctly the name is just killing it when he goes like in the stratosphere in full full voice it's just i was like what is happening here <laughs> did, he, did he really do that uh yeah it, it's great just great uh, yeah, regarding the song, I, I was going to wonder. Uh, um, so the, uh, there is a featuring in this, co- this song from uh, a certain guy that is uh, Angus McFive. Yes, Angus McFive. My fault. Uh, uh, is it a situation of incompetency here? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, no, I, I was wondering. Uh, so I didn't know him. Uh, I did a bit of s- research. Uh, so it looks like he's from this band called uh, Glory Hammer. Yeah, and uh, I have to say that uh, I I didn't I, I didn't know the the band until uh, I prepared for this uh, this episode, and uh, it's the most epic metal cringy <laughs> band I've ever seen. <laughs> so because uh, they, they produce this kind of super CGI with fake backgrounds, uh, <laughs> video clips on YouTube that are. I mean, it sounds like they do it seriously. They are very convinced to do this uh, super epic, uh, super CGI, cheap CGI videos. <laughs> I, I don't understand if they take themselves seriously in doing that or not. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, they remind me a lot of Rhapsody of Fire. So yeah. I don't know if uh, Nano World of Steel, they didn't manage to convince Luca to really uh, to be part of the <laughs> song uh, and uh, instead they ask uh, Glory Hammer to join them. They actually had uh, Fabio Lione to sing with them uh, in um, uh, Barbie Mere Princess of the Twilight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not Luca Turini, probably because they mocked him so much in the previous records. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? The power of the power of the power of the Emerald Sword. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't know them either, actually. The Glory Hammer. And yeah, definitely remind of uh, Rhapsody of Fire, of the early age Rhapsody, when they still had just a, just a Rhapsody <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. So for the gimmick of today, we should uh, vote uh, how Christmassy is the song, according to us, and the actual score on the quality of the song. So, Francis, you go first. Okay. According to me, uh, it's um, uh, so 
epic metal that uh, for the Christmas score for me is just a 6 out of 10, but the overall actual score is just 10 out of 10. It's just uh, superb, amazing. It's zip. Uh, Francis, as usual, you read my notes because I, <laughs> I, I decide for exactly the same scoring. So six in terms of Christmassy, because um, if you don't watch the video clip, you lose a bit the the feeling of Christmas. But in terms of music execution, production, creativity is a ten out of ten. Anto. Uh, as always, you both read my notes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to change. Um, no, it, it's actually a uh, six uh, Christmas uh, trees because I mean it's not the usual Christmas stuff. Let's say uh, everyone is with uh, the bells and Santas, but you know, stop wars and start building <laughs> furniture. What's more Christmassy than that? <laughs> No, I assume that uh, the the Christmas tree, uh, trees uh, have been both uh, from IKEA, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, the, don't miss that detail; is very important. <laughs> no, 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 it's really important. They are cut out of bestas, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And as you said, it's just an awesome song. It's really awesome for me. It's a uh, ten. Christmas stars uh, with uh, a little best uh, Christmas tree on top. So it's a neat <laughs> ever, it's a 10 plus. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, changing slightly topic, because uh, you won't believe it, that there is a connection between uh, uh, Nano World of Steel and uh, Steel Panther. Because uh, So, the song that I choose is uh, the stocking so- song by Steel Panther. And uh, so what, what's the connection between the two bands? Uh, it's the fact that uh, there has been a collaboration between the two bands as well, between Nano War on Steel and Steel Panther. Seriously? It's not related to metal at all, because there is a steel in both names. <laughs> Just to also collaboration. It. Also collaboration. Check it out. Put a link in the description about uh, Uranus. <laughs> Ah. That's that's a song in which there is Michael Starr from Steel Panther that collaborates with uh, uh, Nano War of Steel. Another masterpiece, in my opinion. All puns intended. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Uh, you always can check Uranus uh, also over Christmas time, <laughs> just uh, to say this to us. Just, <laughs> just because it's Christmas, uh, you look at the sky and you check Uranus. You always should. It's also prevention, guys. Because exactly. It's uh, healthy to check <laughs> Uranus on the sky. Yeah, it's recommended by any healthcare system in Europe. Not in the US, because you need to pay for that. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, um, regarding a uh, stocking song, so um, uh, this, uh, this song is uh, not so new. So, it's been recorded in 2014. And uh, why did I choose this song is uh, first because I love Steel Panther. Uh, nice. Because they are totally... They are very politically correct. <laughs> <band>. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and uh, also the fact that uh, it's a very important love over Christmas. And that song express how love is important over Christmas. Absolutely. <laughs> so And also how important it is uh, to feel stockings. <laughs> Yes. That, that's it. That's the reason. Just love. Love is everywhere. Yeah. Definitely. I'll go with my opinion, guys. Uh, first of all, just love the quality of the intro with the kazoo that sings uh, <laughs> fa-la-la-la-la. <laughs> and it's just, you start the song and you're just, okay, what is going on? 
And uh, the only note I took while listening to this song, I read textually, is super obscene, sexist, and potentially offensive message <laughs> talking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, politically correct. And it's, uh, that's why we like it. Absolutely. I don't know what you're talking about. No, me neither. It, it's Absolutely. a song about love. It's a man wanting to give his girlfriend a lot of, uh, you love. know, uh, candy canes and uh, eggnog and, you know, toys. Wait, wait. And love, <laughs> Sorry. love in general before uh, Santa gives the same love to her. I mean, it's... <laughs> wait, alcohol-free eggnog. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it, it's even healthier. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, uh, you're right. I, think, I think you're a kind of twisted mind to think that there is a, <laughs> some kind of sexual connotation behind this. Uh, I don't Absolutely. know. Uh, I, I will give a ring to your psychotherapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll try to talk her about that. <laughs> but but they never said the sexual, sexist at least. <laughs> Just <laughs> but uh yeah, definitely the the best part of the song is the ending. I just hope that Santa doesn't stuff it before I get the chance. That's just poetry. Pure poetry. Definitely. I loved it. I mean, Next one. I mean it, it's a beautiful love story. It's a <laughs> man pouring his heart out and even something else. Uh, <laughs> For her, his girlfriend, and it's just w- love, love. It, it, Christmas is all about love and uh, stuff in socks. I mean, it's <laughs> you know, it, it's lovely. And there's also deck the hole with the kazoo. That's something that everyone can enjoy. That's true. <laughs> You said the girlfriend is never explicit uh, that he's talking about his girlfriend. And while you were uh, saying that, I was just wondering why nobody ever tried to use this uh, as a song towards their crush, maybe. That would be amazing. I would appreciate that a lot, actually. I totally agree with you, Francis. Uh, I would like to say maybe it's a song also towards Santa himself. (laughs) Why not? Why not? I mean, let's be inclusive, guys. Yes, yes, my fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really didn't want that. Didn't want that for the <laughs> woke people out there. I didn't want to. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, it's a lovely song, a heartwarming message. I think it's, um, it's awesome. It's just awesome. Yeah, regarding this song, uh, yeah, uh, I love the kazoo intro as well, but uh, I'm a bit disappointed uh, by the fact that there wasn't a guitar solo. And I know that ah. uh, in Steel Panther's song, uh, the guitar solo is like, uh, I don't know, a must. And this time there wasn't a guitar solo, so th- there was a, a bit of a sad aftertaste of uh, that lack of shredding. <laughs> but uh, the, the kazoo a bit compensated. You see. Uh, yeah, I, I, I totally get it. I mean, it, it felt like uh, some, something was missing, like the alcohol in the eggnog. But <laughs> in the end, uh, yeah, the two kazoo sections were uh, wholesome enough to really bring the song home, let's say. Scores, guys. Easy. Uh, yeah, so... I am for regarding the Christmas score is a uh, uh, ten out of ten uh, stockings uh, uh, full of uh, love. <laughs> that, that's my opinion. Is uh, he, he marks or the ticks uh, the tick box of Christmas? So the bells, uh, the references to other Christmas songs. Uh, uh, the, the the topics, of course, uh, is very. Santa has been mentioned in the lyrics, so yeah. I will I will say eight out of uh, ten in terms of uh, overall because it is a nice song, but uh, it's not uh, brilliant as uh, Valhalla Hallelujah. Anto. So yes, 
It's uh, very Christmassy. As you said, it ticks all the Christmas boxes. It even plays deck the hole with the kazoo. So, I mean, what's more Christmassy than that? Yeah, and as I said, it's all about love. So, yes, it's a uh, 10... Uh, how to say uh, candy canes uh, with uh, <laughs> alcohol free eggnog uh, out of ten. <laughs> yes, and yeah, and as you said, as an overall song, it just missed that a lovely guitar solo. Yeah, uh, I mean, Balaleruya is uh, just a masterpiece. So this is a little less, I would say, also an eight out of ten. So, Francis. You actually stole uh, my score. You're, you're reading my notes uh, at this point. <laughs> or I'm we reading have yours. common I notes, so let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> we have one common neuron, probably. <laughs> yeah, the, let's be honest with our audience. We are reading all the same piece of paper on our desk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, for me, it's... Uh, Nine uh, sugar candy canes out of ten, definitely. The atmosphere is perfect. And at the same time, it's a general score of eight out of, out of ten. And one point is just for the kazoo. <laughs> that makes sense. Absolutely. So, should I go with my song? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Guys, guys, as you know, I'm the, the rebel one in the podcast, so I like to break the rules. I will crush you. Also at Christmas. So actually, my song is not a song. It's an what? album. What? <laughs> Unacceptable. You are breaking the rules. We set yes. some specific rules to be fair to everyone. You are ruining Christmas. Yes. Yes, I am. I would also point out that he explicitly said that he took notes that he read to us. So this is very competent thing to do. And yeah, even at Christmas, I don't know if we can forget that. Too much competent. But but, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Please go on. Privately, thank you. <laughs> but but maybe you can forgive me because this album does not exist. Just to break another rule, we, uh, I decided to review something that is not out there. So you are a very naughty boy. I think you are <laughs> on Santa's bla- blacklist because of this. <laughs> I'll get a lot of coal, definitely. <laughs> but it's starting to get uh, you know incompetent enough, so you may be <laughs> forgiven. Go on, go on. Thank you, thank you. Forgiven so, by a... us, but not by Santa. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm risking a lot. <laughs> so what happened? There's a small story about this. In December 2020, on their Twitter account and then on all the other social media, Microsoft published this uh, very nice ad about the Microsoft Holiday Hits, uh, released by their Reply All Records. And that's already an amazing... Uh, Easter egg. And basically, this ad is about a four CD album that features 60 festive favorites. And some of these songs are just uh, amazing. For example, Joy to the World, Spell Check is Done. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Together with uh, Please Mute You, Merry Gentlemen. <laughs> and also my. Um, I think is probably the, the, the most heard sentence in the whole 2020, you're on mood night, instead of silent night. And to end it, my favorite uh, is Bingo Bells. So they decided to do this amazing thing. And two, uh, two points, I think, are crucial. That... <laughs> The ad closes with uh, a number, a phone number, and uh, they also say this doesn't actually exist. Please don't call. And I'm sure they received a lot of calls on that number. 
And the other thing... <laughs> yeah. uh, how is it possible if uh, the number doesn't exist? Uh, no, no phone is going to ring, so... <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, the album doesn't exist. I don't know about the phone, honestly. So, so let's, let's give them a ring. What do you think? Why not? Why not? It, it will probably crash. <laughs> Most probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second point is that I discovered something. It's also educational, this ad, because um, I read that one of the songs was uh, Let it se go, let it se go, let it se go, that in Italian sounds very uh, strange. But <laughs> I found out that se go is the, basically Microsoft font. So it's, uh, you know, you're, we were already talking about masturbation at the first minute of this episode, and we go on, just go on. We were going to cut that out, so this is the first <laughs> mention of that. So. Ah. <laughs> and we are not going to cut it out, so I will be wrong and incompetent about that. So, <laughs> yes, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you guys think about it? Did Z? Uh, I wrote exactly the same notes, so you, we won't believe it. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I find it really hilarious uh, uh, because it's very geeky. Even uh, if uh, I, I didn't know Sigo, what it was, I, I had to Google it as well because I was pretty confused. Even if I'm a software engineer, <laughs> but clearly, not, not uh, I'm a bit out of sync with uh, the, the most. Uh, current and uh, up-to-date fonts available. But you use Linux, it's your excuse, I mean. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I use Unix-based stuff, so uh, definitely. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, other thing, uh, yeah, I agree that uh, you're on mute night uh, made, me, made me giggle a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I will pr- probably use the pun of uh, please mute you, marry gentlemen uh, <laughs> during my Christmas party at, at work <laughs> many times. <laughs> That's the reason. So, but uh, the thing that really pissed me off uh, is the fact that this is not a bloody song. <laughs> it's not. No. Yeah, you actually cheated because in the I uh, in the ad there are like two seconds of three different songs and just the titles of many others. So you actually cheated us on uh, reviewing an album without being able to listen to it. So this is very naughty of you. So Santa will come and spank you. But... <laughs> but... Wait, <yes>. wait, sorry. <laughs> I'm happy until he doesn't, you know, stuff my stocking. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. If the reindeer participate as well, please uh, t- take a video and send it to us. <laughs> Definitely. That's going to be viral. Anyway, <laughs> coming back to the thing, it's lovely. It's so geeky. I loved it. I'm curious about if there is some part in uh, Joy to the World, if uh, they will are going to speak about the image positioning and the uh, whole layout of the document going on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it is. Just with stuff placed out of the document, uh, they open a PowerPoint and place some stuff in there. Is it uh, inside it? I I don't know. (laughs) Do you get the actual song? Maybe they talk about it and maybe they also have some secrets to share to avoid this uh, mess when moving tables and images. That's actually a a nightmare song. That's probably the Grinch version. (laughs) I, ah, is for the Halloween album. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> okay, 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 that makes sense then. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yes, and, and I was a little uh, confused by bingo bells. I had to Google what bing was. And, uh, <laughs> it's not actually true, but it's... Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Sorry, that, does Bing still exist? That, that's my question. Uh, let me Google it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my... 
Uh, I found actually the the cartoon uh, character uh, for being. <laughs> <laughs> you are googling the for real. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> but he Google is a piece of paper, toilet paper. <laughs> le- sorry, let me Google Bing on Bing and let me see what happens because he ah, crashes. I find Bing. The blue screen of death. <laughs> it gets in a in a loop and just explodes. <laughs> noise so go with the scores guys to change a bit Anton so this is uh, actually very Christmassy I mean it's uh, it makes a lot of references to Christmas songs and uh, there's a lot of uh, jingle bells going on so yeah very Christmassy so I will say a good 9 out of 10 merry gentlemen on mute. <laughs> About the actual score, it's not a song, it's uh, an ad, actually. So I would say, but it's quite genius in some way, I would say seven clippies. <laughs> Out of ten, obviously. <laughs> it's it. No, for me, I found it very Christmassy, so definitely is a, a 10 uh, out of 10 uh, uh, application crashed uh, <laughs> because of the Millennium Bug. Uh, regarding, re- regarding the actual review of the song, uh, it's not a song, so <laughs> uh, I, I'm for a 4 out of 10 <laughs> because it's not a bloody song, this one. Uh, it's very 60, hilarious. 60 songs. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for me it, it is uh, definitely 4 out of 10 uh, uh, blue screens of, of death <laughs> very well very well I agree that is, this is definitely pro- the, the most Christmassy song uh, between the, the three so it's absolutely 10 fonts out of 10 and uh, for the actual score, for me, not because it's not uh, a song, but it's an album, but just because it, it doesn't exist. So for me, it's a zero out of ten, <laughs> just because of that. Uh, I thought that I've been uh, harsh to say four <laughs> out of ten, but <laughs> I see that you get that shows this <laughs> sh- at the end, you say that it's a zero out of ten. I'm very glad about that. You see, I'm honest at least. <laughs> So maybe Santa will forgive you. He won't <laughs> forgive me because I lied. <laughs> I mean, the actual thing would be an A, you know. <laughs> Not applicable, but, uh, you know. It's, uh, I, I wanted to say Clippy, so it's seven Clippies on the <laughs> uh, Is there still Clippy in the Microsoft uh, applications or not? I really hope not. I don't think so. But uh, I don't you never think know. So. But that's a great loss. Maybe you can activate it somewhere. <laughs> it's probably a Trojan, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's a back door to <laughs> <laughs> they, Very well. they should make it the assistant for teams. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. They, they should reintroduce Clippy, like an AI, a bot, uh, something like that. I don't know. I love Forget it. about Cortana. Just <laughs> give us Clippy back. <laughs> wow, I would enjoy so more. Very well, guys. Very well. I think we reached uh, the most Christmassy la- point... Uh, in our career, probably, in our short career. <laughs> uh, wow, it, it really looks like it's uh, a few months we are working. <laughs> I think you will reach the highest point of Christmas in your career when Santa is going to slap you on your <laughs> ass. <laughs> Most probably, yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to, to, to shut my, my chimney, just in case. <laughs> Uh, please record that. <laughs> don't, 
we need to go viral. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a lot of cameras around the house just to sue Santa after what happens. <laughs> that's kind of creepy, but anyway. <laughs> Definitely. That's a solid choice. <laughs> it's not creepy, it's the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> yes, yes. A lot of love going around. Great, guys. So at this point, I think we can say to each other and to all our listeners, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Clink, 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 cl